working on files. Okay. I finished okay. my I finished my work about at eight eight o'clock. But the one time I stopped working on my work was to watch the Grave Consequences match between Phoenix and Mil Mortes. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, the second time I stopped was uh, and uh, the triple uh, the trios finale, uh, tournament finale. Oh, then I you. continued watching Lucha Underground from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock that night with no work. <laughs> <laughs> Then the next day, I, I was so close to the end, I'm like, I'm going to finish. So from, so from 1 o'clock till about 6 o'clock, I finished the rest of uh, Lucha Underground up to where we currently are. Um, it uh, The death match between Mil, Mil Mortes and uh, Phoenix, again, amazing. Uh, and, and, and and I believe in, and Helico can fly, mm -hmm. like for real. Yes. Uh uh, and Helico I, believes that too. I was very sad that Drago had to leave. Still getting choked up about it. Um, Pentagon Junior is one of my favorites now. I, I it, was, Bobby, it was amazing. Bobby, I have I have two questions for you. Okay. Okay. After your binge watch of Lucha Underground. Okay. I would like you to name your favorite three performers in Lucha Underground, and okay. your three. bottom three. My favorite three and my, my okay. My favorite three. It doesn't have to be in order, just like okay. the top guys that like. Uh, the top guys. Let me see. No Mortez. Mm -hmm. Pentagon Junior. I'm gonna say Angelico. Okay. There's three. Uh, bottom three, the crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the entirety oh. of the crew. Perfect answer, <laughs> Bobby. Perfect yeah. answer. Yeah. <laughs> they serve a purpose. Yeah. And and honorable mention to Matt Stryker on commentary. He's amazing. So. I, I think, I I think they both do a good job. I think Stryker and Vampiro are so much fun to listen to at yeah. this point. Yeah, I, I actually I, like I, Vampiro too. Um, I, I, I was a fan of Vampiro back in the WCW days mm -hmm. when he was on. Uh, you were his the one. Feud with, yeah, I, I was the one. His feud with Sting was really good, I thought. Dude, 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 dude. You, you know I'm a big Vampiro fan, too. Right? <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. I, I like, like I'm also, like, I, I saw him at JCW take on yeah. Sabu. I, I know, no, no, I'm down with this. <laughs> I'm, I'm down with this. Oh, my. But, yeah, I, I'm one of the unfortunate people that saw his band perform at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Uh, it's so, fun. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, we're in. We're in. So, but no, again, he's saying, from what I've heard, it sounds like he's, I wasn't sure about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's kind of the oddball uh, color guy that kind of like like Booker T a lot of times is on Monday night. Um, but no, I think it's great because he, he actually has a legitimate insight on the business versus mm -hmm. Matt Stryker is just the hugest wrestling nerd in the world. And it's <laughs> awesome. It is, and, it is and he's super very awesome. <laughs> it is super awesome. Yeah, Stryker just geeks out to everything and yes. Vampiro kind of adds the meat and, 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 of like and, actual storytelling. <laughs> And it's everywhere too, because I mean, he even th he pulls that stuff. Um, I, I've had the fortune to to work with him twice now at, at IWC, and on the mic, on the commentary, he's that's him, man. That's mm -hmm. just there's no. I don't think there's any particular research. He just pulls his stuff from his head. He like, is the ultimate wrestling geek, and it's so great. When mm -hmm. I, when I first started li like watching it and listening to his commentary, I was getting a sore throat because his voice is so gravelly. <laughs> <laughs> and then by the end, I just didn't notice it, and I was like enjoying it, and just you know, it was really good. So. It still it's shocks nice. me whenever I hear. I, I I confess this to you, Sorg. I ask your forgiveness. Sometimes I listen to <laughs> other wrestling podcasts, and what? some of these ignorant buffoons on these other wrestling podcasts are still not sold on Lucha Underground, and they will nitpick wow. this show and talk about things that like have no have no meaning on that show that just doesn't they'll complain because oh the in-ring is this and the the this just isn't believable and i don't believe a woman fighting a guy and i'm like oh just God. These, are the, these are the same jackasses <laughs> and and i know exactly who i'm calling a jackass here and i'm sorry but they don't listen to the show anyways these are the same jackasses <laughs> out there uh and it's one thing if you're in the business and have this opinion but for fans to be like that that, that, that think that chikara is goofy and cartoony and and, and should it's be wiped so off the face of professional wrestling about. what yeah. i know who you're talking about sword 
Oh, um, you've heard this one. Um, but uh, we, we need our no, third. Did those they, same people I, realize they cheered for a wrestling mortician? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, um, I, I It's just one of those things where, like, I want my wrestling real. I'm like, then you're watching the wrong thing, man. Yeah. No matter Watch where it MMA is. Watch MMA if you want real. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Drago turned into a fucking dragon. <laughs> allegedly. No. The no, greatest no, tweet. He allegedly. did. He did. fucking did, Bobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, right. I think you guys had the greatest conversations between the Impact and Lucha Underground Midweek Wars this week, where um, you talked about the presentation of Impact versus Lucha Underground and how we 